Hey guys, this is Friday and Ashley Ellis of Governor Cigar and Pipe right here in Monroe, Louisiana. And you're watching Cigar Noise TV. Big thanks to the Governor and First Lady for kicking off this week's episode. I'm Dave, your host, and this week we're broadcasting from the Make Business Cafe in the Olympia Mall, deep in the heart of Salmia, Kuwait. And this week we're taking the classiest tour available from Governor's Cigar and Pipe in Monroe, Louisiana, getting lesson in cigar selfies from Dom, and checking in with Rich for a little knowledge drop. So pour yourself a glass of that Bayou Live In, fire up the Governor or First Lady you've been waiting for all day. It's time to make some noise. Halfway reports that a tasting is being held today in Italy for the La Flor de Cano Casanova, the latest regional to hit Italy. At roughly $10 US, this petite Robusto will be available later this week. Now, I'm sure a lot of folks thought that this was an April Fool's joke, but it came about six days too late. Arturo Fuente, the most counterfeited non-Cuban cigar in the world, has recently had an entire shipment of cigars stolen. That's hundreds of thousands of cigars. Reportedly, a 40-foot shipping container was loaded to a truck and then disappeared before reaching its final destination, along with all of our favorite Fuentes. <laughs> what? What I want to know is, what was this driver's face like when he showed up across town missing a 40-foot container? I'm willing to bet he needed his Father's Day opus a bit early this year after explaining that one. And the Fuentes remain hopeful that they'll find their product because somebody will slip up and try to make a purchase or a sale, but this is a case where the evidence could literally go up in smoke. Next up, Friday Ellis, my personal tobacconist and hero, takes us on a tour of Governor's Cigar Pipe. Hey guys, once again, Friday Ellis, Ashley Ellis, Governor Cigars, Monroe, Louisiana. Dave wanted us to put together something, give you a tour of the shop here. Um, we're proud to say this is Dave's home shop here in Monroe, Louisiana. We miss that guy. We love you. You're doing big things and uh, stay safe and we're ready to see you back. So just kind of as we take you around our humidor is back here. Sorry, we're going to kind of give you an informal tour because uh, things are packed tonight. We got the crowned heads in the house, Mr. Brian McGee doing his thing, spreading the gospel for the guys up in Nashville. We got a little bourbon tasting going on over here with uh, Mr. Ma Mac Reitzel. These guys are getting after it. Who doesn't love bourbon and cigars? So what we do a little things a little differently here. We're not afraid to kind of give the unexpected uh, to a cigar event. I mean, we do florals. We kind of highlight local artists and uh, artisans around here. Uh, and plus, Ashley likes to keep things, you know, going with flowers and. Uh, yeah, this was a flower shop since uh, 1919, and uh, so we kind of a little, little tip of the hat to the old flower shop. So yeah, so uh, we are gathered. Uh, they're a local uh, company, and they did these florals here, and it is uh, amazing. So follow us. So this is our main lounge here. Um, this is where our guys come. We call it the bullshit pit, but uh, you know, we loving. This is where the most guys come and hang out. Uh, we recently acquired the building a few uh, about a year ago, and we started our construction on the members lounge. Uh, this guy right here, hey Dave West, do you know this guy right here? Oh yeah. This is the most awesome pastor this side of Mason Dixon, Chad Brooks. Tell Dave we miss him. Dave, miss man, him. it's not the same without you, buddy. See, we knew Dave before he started tasting like cocoa puffs in his cigars. Yeah. We knew Dave when he was smoking acids and Swisher sweets and things Dave, like that when he Dave came in here. Dave used to buy a lot of Java. I know, right? Java, Dave Java. <laughs> anyway, well, cool, brother. Follow me, I'll take you back here. This is um, a little kind of Coke snack drink area back through here. What up? What up, gents? What up? Dap it out. Yes, My man, Mr. Cassio. Kind of another little sitting area we have through here. Just Coke, snacks, drinks for all our guys when they come in. Uh, and then when we go into this room right here, this is our members lounge. Uh, all members have 24 hour access. They have a private locker in the back. Um, so this is where it happens. So anyway, come let me show you the new stuff. Dave, this will be the first time you've seen this. You remember old nasty plywood on the walls and boxes everywhere. But anyway, I hope you like it, buddy. Come see. So we've got a little place where guys can sit here, you know, so you can charge your computer, iPhones, things like that. Just another little something we added to, for convenience for our guys here. Uh, Mr. JR. Yes, sir. Dave West, Cigar Noise. Dave, what's going, buddy? What's up, man? So, uh, some more guys here. This is uh, 
50 year Zumba instructor, Bob Allen. You remember him, Dave West? Yes. Yes, yes that's right. Anyway, so yeah, so this is another little seating area. You got back here, and I'll make our way back to the bar. So eventually, these doors are going to lead out to a private patio, and uh, we'll have an outdoor kitchen, private fireplace, stuff like that. But uh, come on back here. Here's some of my uh, Richland Parish brothers. What's up, brother? Say hello to Dave West with Cigar Noise TV. How are you, sir? What's up, man? So anyway, we got a full-service bar, ice maker, refrigerator, dishwasher, anything like that. Full-service stemware for anything, whatever you might be drinking. And back here, I'll show you the uh, locker area for our guys. Here's another little seating area back here full of ladies. Act like I've never been here before, ladies. Anyway, say hello to Dave West with Cigar Noise TV. Ah, look at there. So this is our members' locker area. So this used to be the old flower store, just old cooler, and uh, man, it just makes such a gnarly noise, and I felt like it was gonna be a great thing for guys. So you'll come in here, though, 24 hour access, get their locks and going, and they'll come in. And uh, we just had these cabinets custom made from a local cabinet maker. They're gonna get their name badges put on it. Uh, whole room's gonna be humidified, and it's still a little something. Uh, have a few like uh, rod and gun lockers over here where they can keep their hats and coats and things like that. So. What other way or what best way to send you off is with a room full of ladies and the most beautiful lady here, Ashley Ellis, uh, lovingly known as the first lady. But anyway, we love you, Dave. We miss you. Uh, man, I'm so proud of you and what you created with Cigar Noise. Anyway, safe travels back home. Later, Noise. Bye, Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Friday and Ashley, the original power couple. Matter of fact, if you're within a day's ride of Monroe, Louisiana, I highly suggest you stop what you're doing and you visit the best place on earth. And be on the lookout for reviews of the Governor and First Lady before the next episode. But as enlightening as that was, we're not quite done yet. Dom has a little something something to say about cigar selfies. So, I've noticed a lot of you on Instagram like taking selfies with your cigar. Uh, frankly, you're all doing a really terrible job at it. So, I'm here to give you a little step-by-step guide on how to take a proper cigar selfie. Step one, go to your humidor and find the largest ring gauge cigar you can, like this for instance. Now I know a lot of you are going to be saying, oh that's gay, I don't do that. It's not gay. Do you go to Subway? Do you get the 6 inch sub? No, you're a man, you get the 12 inch sub. That's what you do. Bigger is always better. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh my goodness. Step two, know your audience. Am I sending this to my bros to say, what's up bros? I'm smoking a cigar right now. Or am I sending it to some foxy chica to say, check me out. I'm a man who smokes cigars. Step three, the less clothes, the better. It goes without saying, I mean, you want people to see you for who you are. Clothes get in the way of that sometimes. Step four, it's all about the angles. If you haven't looked in the mirror in a while, do that and figure out which is your good side. Everyone has one, believe me. You never want to go for just a straight on shot. That's a stupid amateur. You can go for a little up above action or a little crotch shot action to show that you're dominant, you're above them. And that brings us to step five, in or out. Some people prefer in, some people prefer out. out. It's up to you. Depends if you're feeling a little saucy or sauced. Well, I hope you learned something from these five steps on how to take a cigar selfie. Step six, screw your selfie. I don't even know where to begin. Like, no one wants to see you smoking a cigar. Enjoy it, dude. People might be like, oh, you're sexist. It's okay when girls do it. No, it's not okay when girls do it. I hate it too. But the difference is, if they're hot, well, I like hot girls, so like. If it's wrong to like babe, sue me. And if you have a problem with me taking videos of myself for my cigar reviews, well, I can do it, you can. Give it up for the one and only Dom Sipaneri.
Hello Cigar Noise. Today I've got a fantastic review for you. It's uh, from a box of cigars I found in my grandfather's basement that had never been humidified and had been sitting in a basement in Wisconsin for who knows how long. Let's see if that cellophane has some good yellow to it, which is kind of impressive. The cigar itself seems to be okay in terms of humidification, and that doesn't really make any sense. Let's find out if this thing's any good from its not humidified status in a Wisconsin basement. It doesn't seem terrible. There's nothing obviously wrong with this cigar, which is good. It tastes like mostly cheap tobacco, a little bit of grass, a little bit of hay. Nothing that interesting in there. It's a little sweet. It's got some good sweetness to it, especially on the finish there. This doesn't taste like a whole heck of a lot. Construction seems okay on it. I don't know what it tasted like to begin with, but doesn't seem to have hurt it to sit in a, in a basement with no humidification for a, probably at least a decade. So, if you don't have a humidor, I guess stick your stuff in a basement. See how it goes. Rich, ladies and gentlemen, and remind me to start toning it down a little bit next week because if we give away too much information, folks may start to get the wrong impression. And this week, we've set up a veritable buffet for your weekly deal. Feast on the Davidoff Chef's Edition, HGC's Black Friday, the Black Works NBK, Roma Crafts and Temperance EC, and finish it off with a little Laranja dessert, all for $53 shipped. And as we close with our social media cigar noise hashtags of the week, I'd like to say thank you very much to all of our special guests, everyone that makes this show happen each week, and Tom Thurow for sharing his musical talent with us. Really helps the cigar just slide down. <laughs> oh, I'm not even gonna get into mirror selfies. Those are the worst. Hey, do you have no friends to take a picture of your outfit? You have to go into a, a closed room in a bathroom, take a picture in front of a mirror. It's pathetic. If I'm following you, and I see maybe you just watched the first part of this video and took a cigar selfie, I'm probably not gonna unfollow you. We're just not gonna be friends. All right, I'm gonna take a few right now and just show you how the real professional does it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Arctic Gorn. That was a great shot right there. You gotta get the smoke coming out of your mouth, that's a key. Major key. And if some of you think, oh, well, you take cigar video selfies for your reviews, that's pretty dumb. It's different, okay? I'm a film major, I can do that. <laughs> 